turtles are the longest living marine species to still inhabit the world's oceans, surviving asteroid impacts and outliving the dinosaurs. I like turtles! Basically, you have tortoises and turtles, which seem similar but are not the same. Turtles can live on land, but are mostly aquatic and often have webbed toes, allowing them to move easily through water. Tortoises are mostly land-dwelling creatures and keep a supply of water in their shells. Turtles have flatter backs than tortoises, which have a much more rounded form. But I'm only talking about turtles today. On the brink of extinction is the largest turtle in the world, the leatherback sea turtle. Leatherback turtles live in the tropical and subtropical waters of the Pacific, Atlantic and Indian Oceans and can grow as large as 2.7 meters long and 1.8 meters wide, weighing up to 454 kilograms, which is about the same as 625 iPads. The largest ever was found on a beach on the west coast of Wales, 3 meters long and 916 kilograms. Leatherbacks are covered in a rubbery-like shell and can dive 1,500 meters deep in search of prey. They also hold title to the fastest reptile on the planet, having achieved speeds of up to 35.28 kilometers per hour in the water. Unfortunately, the populations of leatherback sea turtles have been heavily decimated from fishing, reducing the population of almost 130,000 leatherbacks in the 1990s to only far less than 30,000 today. At the other end of the spectrum, the smallest turtle in the world is the bog turtle. Native to the eastern United States, the bog typically gets to be just 10 or 11 centimeters long and lives in bogs, obviously, wetlands and wet pastures. The International Union for Conservation of Nature has marked the bog turtle as threatened due to habitat destruction. The oldest turtle known of was Harriet, the Great Galapagos land turtle, who died in 2006 at 176 years old. Just before her death, she was the oldest known animal in the world. So old, in fact, that many believe Harriet was even studied by Charles Darwin himself, who named her Harry, believing her to be male. Enormous, small and old turtles are amazing. But as I always say, the weirder the turtle, the more likely I'll reblog it. Meet the Eastern Longneck Turtle. Not only bizarre looking, but also with some unusual traits. When it feels threatened, for instance, it will emit an offensive smelling fluid from its musk glands, for which it gets its nickname, Stinker. Its most distinctive feature, however, may be its extremely long neck. The long neck allows the turtle to bend its head sideways into its shell, rather than pulling it directly back in from the front. Cantor's giant soft-shelled turtle is a peculiar looking species. With a broad head and small eyes, this unusual turtle spends 95% of its life buried and motionless. Only its eyes and mouth tend to protrude from the sand, and it only surfaces a couple of times a day for air. Sort of like video bloggers. The big-headed turtle found in Asia is a species with an exceptionally large head. But aside from its large head, it's known to climb trees using its beak. And this turtle cannot pull its head in its shell at all, so it defends itself with its powerful jaws instead. The alligator snapping turtles are some of the largest freshwater turtles in the world, and will eat just about anything they can, including alligators, snakes, and even other turtles. Interestingly, the sex of baby alligator snapping turtles depends on the temperature at which their eggs were incubated. And my favorite turtle of all, the pig-nosed turtle. A species of soft-shelled turtle, endemic to freshwater streams, lagoons, and rivers of Australia and New Guinea. Not much else to say about them. That nose is just really cute. As May is a busy month for turtles in general, many emerging from winter hibernation, May 23rd is World Turtle Day, sponsored by the American Tortoise Rescue. This day aims to bring attention to and increase awareness and respect for turtles and tortoises, encouraging aid to help assure their survival. Turtles are heavily endangered creatures, so please be sensitive anytime you see one. After all, don't you like turtles? I sure do.